Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here. Another video, another review for Chucky, the TV series, episode two. Um, I was gonna start saying like season one, episode two, but we don't know if there's more than one season. We honestly don't. Um, it wouldn't be a horror TV show without a Halloween themed episode. And not to be confused with Halloween, the film franchise, which I actually just got done filming a video for about Halloween kills. No, I'm talking Halloween night, parties, people dressing up, and murder. But the cool thing that I'm, and there's spoilers for this. I, I My Halloween Kills review, no spoilers. Uh, but this is going to have spoilers for episode two of Chucky because it's tough to talk about a TV show without spoilers. Um, so far, even though we're only two episodes in, I'm really enjoying the one, well, if we count the cat in episode one, but we don't technically because it wasn't on screen. But if we count uh, kills, it's like one kill an episode. I'm okay with that. Not going overboard. Uh, this time around, you know, we not. it's been a week since the first episode. And, you know, Chucky's been, I guess, being haved, so to speak. And with um, everything going on, with, you know, we find out, you know, after the whole talent show. And then... We see now that, you know, how everything's uh, hap going on with, you know, Jake. He's adjusting to living with his aunt and uncle and his cousin. And I was kind of, I guess, right off the bat, I'm just going to say, like, the first real thing that I'm kind of annoyed about is they gave us Andy really quick over the phone. No Andy in this episode. And I'm like, hmm. I was like, all right, so they're probably going to build up to that. Um, we're still getting, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of how to, uh, explain it. We're still getting this weird character development with, um, Junior, Jake's, um, cousin, because, you know, he's dating the bully female, and, you know, after how she, you know, treated him, and then how he made fun of her at the... Uh, talent show we're now seeing the fall of that between those two um there was our, our kill of the week so to speak as i'm kind of start calling whatever it is which was the poor um what is it not maid it's not maid it's like the housekeeper and that was actually really cool i'm really digging one element that's happening in the show is reflective blades like that i don't know really how to work so you know, there's a scene where when the maid, she's doing dishes, she pulls out the, the dish rack out of the dishwasher. All the knives are in there facing upwards, which you don't do anyways, okay? Everyone knows when you wash, when you use a dishwasher, you put the blade down. Having them blade up, and then even when I was watching that, I was just like, that's not how you wash them. And then even the detective brought it up. He's like, a lot of people think, you know, if you put the blades up, they're going to get cleaner. But that's really just not true. And I'm like, yes, that is not true. Putting the blades up like, does not make them cleaner. Okay, just use some jet dry, a little jet dry, little pouch thing, put in there. Still get spotless anyways. So, you know, the blades are upright, she's pulling out, and, you know, you see a little, ch you hear the pitter-patter of the feet, you get the POV from Chucky's point of view, and then pushes her right on it, stab through the face, they showed it, it looked, of course, gruesome. But then in one of the blades of the knives, you see Chucky's face reflecting in it. And I was just like, I appreciate the theme, of the, that they keep doing that, the reflections in the book. Because, like, something about that looks really cool really sets the tone and the scene i really enjoy that and it's not done a lot and yes they do it a lot in the show so far in just the first two episodes because they do it think, uh, again towards the end of the episode with jake and chucky on bed holding the knife but it's really cool to see and uh, i'm trying to think another really cool one we saw uh, i'm trying to think of um I don't have it in front of me, so I don't know the uh, little girl's name, but the junior's girlfriend's little sister, uh, ever since the talent show, you saw the way she was looking at Chucky. And now she's, you know, kind of not obsessed. Um, she's drawing, really good drawing, actually, of Chucky. And then the main theme of this whole entire episode was a Halloween party. And so Jake reluctantly goes. And mainly because he's following Chucky. Chucky leaves the house, so, you know, they're trying to find 
he was trying to find Chucky, and he knows he's going to the party because he's going after Junior's girlfriend, whose name is escaping me right now. And her sister is playing video games. Chucky is playing video games with her, and they're just talking about murder and bad words. And, you know, you could tell that, like, there's something going on there from the dynamic of them becoming friends. And I'm like, oh, th- I hope this continues in the show. It was really cool, really good, you know, writing. And it's just one of those things where it's a scene where you're like, okay. Like, it's kind of cool. It's like, because Chucky's, my main appeal to Chucky has always been like, He's a talker, but not the villain, evil person who's just going to tell you everything, you know, Uh, or give away his evil plan, so to speak. No, he's just going to have a conversation with you and figure you out, you know. So that was a horn honking for some reason. But yeah, so the party with that set up and this and that really good. Um, The. And one of the most messed up scenes in the show so far, and it's only two episodes in, mind you, so it can only get better, (laughs) is, you know, the whole entire time, Junior's girlfriend saying, oh, you're going to love my costume, I'm not going to tell you. Her costume was Jake's dad being electrocuted. She had the jumpsuit, the goatee, the wig, and just shaking. And I was like, that is so messed up. And you could even see Junior's face where even he was just like, that you know that's wrong jake you know leaves he luckily somehow he takes chucky and he leaves because chucky was just about to like stab her (laughs) and it um and then it led to like a cool like i guess conversation where uh, chucky was literally like you know i had you know uh basically a, a gay child or trans and he's like they're non-binary and this and that and he's like really he's like yeah i'm not a monster because you know he was supportive and as you know that's from seed of chucky and i thought that was a really cool line because they aren't preaching a lot of the lgbtqa i plus community like stuff they're not preaching it it's 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 being presented how it should that it's normal that it's it's not it's not different like that it's just there it's everyone's different you like who you like you are who you are like let's not blow it out of proportion and be like losing our shit it's like oh that's who you are cool and that's it like the show is handling it so well like i said in the first episode review a lot of people were ahead of time already setting gearing up to be like oh it's gonna be preachy and and woke and all these other terms and i'm like dude i'm 35 like i don't know what the the hell you guys are talking about (laughs) like um i'm don't know like i'm just gonna watch a show like i don't really fully understand this whole woke crap at all like i'm just like okay be you be be whoever you want to be enjoy and live your life that makes you happy that's all as long as you let me do it the same. Let me just enjoy my life. Let me just be happy. Like, I don't care. Other than that, like, boom, done. That's my opinion. That's my thoughts on it, okay? I don't think anyone should be dictating. Outside of, like, m- like breaking the law and, like, murdering and all that stuff. Like, any, like, I think we just do what makes you happy. As long as you're not willingly and engagingly hurting other people, then it shouldn't really matter. That's, that's, that's my thought. That's my little deep moment for this thing. But now back to the murder of the episode. So um, that was really cool. And then, you know, Chucky's, you know, trying to get Jake to take the knife. He's like, take it, take it. And by the end, Jake does take it and he holds it. In the frame where first it reflects Jake's face and then he turns it a little bit and we see Chucky's face. They do so well with the facial expressions on Chucky and Jake as well. The actor's been doing great. And... um. The episodes are on YouTube, by the way, which is really amazing. And you can get the extended versions on YouTube where they kind of have, like, a behind-the-scenes at the end. And seeing how much work goes into, like, the doll for Chucky with the facial expressions all stuff, I'm like, wow. This, the fact that there's puppeteers controlling everything, I really like that because, like, I don't want CG-heavy horror stuff. You know? I like practical effects. I'm old OG like that. But... Yeah, episode two was really good. Uh, I do believe as of right now, between YouTube and television numbers, like, they they hit over 2 million for the first episode, I believe. So, that is amazing. 
I hope these ratings and these views continue because as of right now, I know there's only six episodes left because it's eight episodes, but I'm hoping this is going to be like more than one season. We still haven't gotten, you know, uh, Jennifer Tilly's Tiffany character in there yet or anyone else. So it's like with six episodes left, I, I'm aware that we're like 25% done with the show. And, but I also appreciate they're not rushing too much. So it's, I'm definitely hooked. And if you haven't already, go check it out on YouTube. Go watch it when it's on Sci-Fi in USA. But it, the fact that they're putting it on YouTube makes it so much convenient for a large audience. I don't have, you know, cable TV. Like, I have streaming services and Hulu and every other streaming service out there. So it's, like, really convenient, especially with YouTube, because I can watch it at work, even though I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let me know, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments below what you think of Chucky, the TV series so far. It could be episode one, episode two, just let me know what you think. Uh, if you're listening to this on the Nerd Name Mark Reviews RSS feed, subscribe to the podcast. You'll see more uh, audio reviews for not just Chucky. I have a Halloween Kills audio review. I have some other horror stuff, because this is October, so I, all my podcast stuff has all horror-themed uh, episodes. And yeah, and we got some new ones dropping next week and tomorrow. So I thank you guys for watching or listening. And I will see you guys in the next one.